Yo, what's going on guys? And today I want to talk about the new head coach for the Washington Wizards, Wes Unsell Jr. Guys, if you guys do not know who he is, he actually currently is the Denver Nuggets head coach since 2015. He started his NBA coaching career directly after college. He went to college at John Hopkins. Okay, this man is so smart. He's the son of Hall of Famer Wes Unsell. He went to Loyola Blakefield, which is actually like 10 minutes away from my house. And I have a bunch of friends who went there in high school. And as an assistant coach, he was given the task of creating Washington's offensive game plan between 2004 and 2007. Um, and to be those years, he led a top 10 offense for three consecutive years. And, he was, and what was awesome, he spent about nine years there. Okay. He, he literally spent his whole career there and until you went to the Golden State Warriors where he was over at the front bench with Golden State Warriors. Then he went to Orlando and he's been on the Denver Nuggets and he's been credited for Denver's defense that's been ranked in the top six since 2018. So he's a guy who knows how to create really well. And I know I kind of phrased that weird like weirdly but I think this is gonna be a guy first off Denny Adia is gonna be balling because of him I think he's gonna start using Denny Denny Adia as sort of I'm not I don't want to say similar to Michael Porter Jr. because I don't think that's a fair comparison but I think he's gonna develop Denny Adia's shot and he's also going to have him have more of a secondary ball handling role, which I think he should be already doing. Okay. I don't know why he wasn't, but now he will. And I think it'll be, it'll be good. It'll be good. I also like to think that he's going to help build the relationship with Bradley Buell again and have him stay. I mean, obviously... I don't know if Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson, Westbrook couldn't speak right there, guys. Russell Westbrook would be who we think he is, but yeah, I I want I want to know what the roster is really gonna be like before we go, just because there is a lot of questions. Okay, you like well. Who's being brought back? Who isn't being brought back? Okay, will will they lose Raul Neto, Alex Lynn? I assume Ish Smith and Ramon Lopez are good, but Alex and Raul Neto were decent players. Isaac Bonga, I see leaving, and we're, we're bringing back a very similar team. So I'm just fearful that not fearful. It's just that I hope this will be a different team, even though it's a very similar lineup if that makes sense like a similar roster but i hope that they're able to change what needs to be changed you know so i want to hear your guys' thoughts what what do you guys think of the signing do you think wes unsold will help change the the future the course of what this team is right now going on I mean, Bradley Beal's the big question, but they have young talent and Roy Hichimara and Denny Abdia and multiple players. Even Thomas Bryan could still develop. He's only 23. Chandler Hutchinson's got a year left on his deal. Daniel Gafford, Caleb Holmesley. I mean, Anthony Gill. Like, there's not super names standing out, but there's some talent on here on the pages. So, like, hopefully... I mean, if anybody can do it, I think Wes Unseld. He seems to be, like, genuinely a genius when it comes to creating. And that's obviously something that the Wizards have needed for a while. I mean, we were all surprised with Scott Brooks leaving. I honestly thought Scott Brooks had earned himself another year on the bench. But I guess I was fucking wrong. And they were just done with our guy on the bench so I mean that sucks for him but Wes Unseld I really think could be something good he seems like a guy who could really create set up plays and just be a smart coach for a team so again guys I want to hear your thoughts down below what did you guys think of the hiring was it was it good 
were you guys disappointed? Did you guys want Darvin Ham or one of the other guys? There, there was multiple guys, and I understand that. I was cool with this just because he's from there. He's a native, so it's all that good shit. But that's it for me, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Put peace out.